This Ramadan is going to be the best Ramadan ever. As we all know, many of the Ramadan traditions will be on hold this year due to social distancing and the lockdown that we're going through. Let's run down the ibadah that we usually do in Ramadan. Fasting, absolutely, insha'Allah ta'ala, it will not be affected at all. Charity, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, we can give charity online and we could help without any problem, insha'Allah. Reading and reciting the Qur'an, insha'Allah ta'ala, that will not also be affected. One of the main things that is different this year is that we cannot go to the masjid and pray our five daily prayers and we cannot perform the taraweeh in the masjid. And that is a major part of our main ibadat in Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring us back to our masajid. Inna Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir. I can make this Ramadan my best Ramadan. My brothers and sisters, there was a brother that many people envied. This brother, Allah, every single year, he does itikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And when we asked him, Subhanallah, how are you able to do it every single year? He said, from the beginning of the year, I inform my employer that those 10 days, I want them off. I take these 10 days as, as my yearly vacation. Allahu Akbar. He takes his, the last 10 days of Ramadan as his vacation in order to dedicate all his time for ibadat. So we used to say, ah, oh, subhanAllah, he's so lucky. He's so lucky he could dedicate 10 days to ibadah. Well, my brothers and sisters, you have all 30 days of itikaf at home, and inshaAllah ta'ala, you could dedicate all that time for ibadah. Right? Many people used to wish, oh, I wish I can leave everything in Ramadan and, and sit at home and concentrate on my ibadat. Here you go. Your dua is mustajab. Your dua has been answered. This year, you are at home. Many of the brothers and sisters are at home uh, during this pandemic. And even the brothers uh, and sisters that are working, they are working from home. And that by itself, even though they're still working, but uh, the time to go to work and the time to come back from work, that is all saved. So that is, uh, that is a time that has to be utilized in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we all know, the month of Ramadan is the best month of the year. It is the month that everything is multiplied many, many folds. So we want to take advantage of every single moment. So without a plan, without a plan, we might fail in this Ramadan. So uh, we have to have a schedule from now. Ya Allah, if you kept me alive to witness this Ramadan, Ya Allah, I am going to do, and you make a list, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you can. My brothers and sisters, we have to organize our time. I wake up in the morning, we all gonna wake up for uh, suhoor. So we wake up 10, 15 minutes before that so we can pray two rak'ah of tahajjud and make a lot of dua in it. We're gonna make a lot of istighfar at the time, uh, right before the adhan of fajr. 
We're going to pray Fajr in Jama'ah with the whole family, insha'Allah ta'ala. Like I said before, we have been deprived this year from coming to the Masajid and praying in Jama'ah. But because that is not under our control, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will be rewarded the same by praying at home. Because we did not create that these circumstances.